We all hope to grow old one day and live a meaningful life, but most people are not excited about these signs of aging. Well, what if we could manipulate the expression of your DNA and slow down the aging process? Have a look. Everyone's searching for the fountain of youth. And now, according to a new study, there just might be one. Researchers from the University of Alabama at Birmingham examined the aging process in the cells of mice. They caused the mice to age by creating a mutation in their cells that caused the cell's mitochondria to malfunction. They created a system that turned on the mutation when the antibiotic doxycycline was fed to the mice. In only a matter of weeks, the mice developed gray hair, hair loss, lethargy, and even wrinkles. Then to undo the aging, researchers restored mitochondrial function by withdrawing the doxycycline. This reversed the mutation in the cells. After a month, the mice returned to having smooth, young-looking skin and thick fur. So, is targeting our mitochondria the preventive step we need for maintaining a youthful appearance? Or is this all just another fake fountain of youth? That was fascinating. Yeah. And, and the timeline is, I think, what's really fascinating because there's more and more research coming out about mitochondria, which are the powerhouses in cells that produce ATP. But this study was fascinating because it was the first to really show that mitochondria can regulate all those changes we associate with aging, wrinkled skin, hair loss, thinning. And the fact that you could turn on the mitochondrial dysfunction and within weeks see that dramatic changes. To reverse it. Exactly. Turn off the dysfunction, get the mitochondrial DNA my replicating again. Sign me up. Yes, I mean, it's it's really an interesting therapeutic target. But it also highlights a lot of us say we're born with our DNA, we don't have a say in how it expresses itself in our life, how long we live, it's all predetermined. This is another sign that there are ways, and, and who knows what science will show us, but even the way we live, if we can impact the way our mitochondria work inside of us, we can we know this, right? We can delay the aging process or accelerate it. And I think what'll be interesting is where we go from here. I'm curious what your thoughts are from, you, you two bo both are into, obviously, and aging and gracefully. This is so exciting, and I think we are going to unlock some genetic keys, but it's not getting get away from the lifestyle factors that we know impact you when it comes to aging. And, and, and we know what those are, smoking, not eating right, not exercising, sun damage to your skin. We know all of those are the big agers. Yeah, and, and I think it is always good to point out when you see something like this in a mouse, even I get super excited about this type of research, but we don't know if this is going to translate to human research as well and really play out in people the way it played out so dramatically in the mice experiment. I mean, when you look at these photos, remember these are over the courses of months. This is one to two it's months. Dramatic. And then These are like again, but really interesting research. I mean, fascinating the role that mitochondria may play in terms of skin and hair aging, which we just didn't really have as therapeutic target before. The fact that you can manipulate uh, that change in a in a mouse with preset DNA means that every single person in this studio, every single person at home, you can impact your DNA and and, and your mitochondria. And so I always say this: it's boring, I know, but you start living a healthier life today you're going to be able to engage in some of the anti-aging benefit we see with those mouses there. Or the reverse is also true. You know it's what just, I always say, aging is optional. It is, I mean look at you. To a certain extent. Look, well, look at you, young buck. Well, I'm trying. Every I'm year trying. you look younger and younger. I've been and, listening and, to you for 11 years. I, I know, guess I mean, he just off. espoused, I was gonna say, aren't you proud to hear everything he listed? The smoking, the ultraviolet damage. He was just giving you like a whole list of great lifestyle Sleep. inventions. Sleeping. Although I'm still not sure he stress. follows the UV <laughs> damage advice. I'm just. <laughs> The tan is too nice all the time, Drew. I'm not, I'm, I think there are a few slip-ups on that one. And so it's jeans in there somehow <laughs> helping me out.